Welcome back to Design Bundles YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Crystal and today you may notice that the studio is a little bit different. So we actually have two studios. We have one that is for our lives and then we have this one here for our pre-recorded videos. So you may notice those two different backgrounds and this studio is actually a studio that we've been using. If you remember, I've had the window in the background with the chairs and sometimes you see the bigger heat press here and and you usually see my sublimation printer on this side. Um, it's the same studio, but I have revamped it. We've painted it, um, and then we've just made it a little bit more design bundles, if you will. We've made it fun and crafty. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this, and you should see this start uh, rolling out. All right, so for today's video, I'm actually using a font that um, is stacked. So it's a question we get all the time, is how do you make the stacked font in Cricut Design Space? Now, the really cool thing is, you can use a stacked font not only in Cricut Design Space, you can use it with your silhouette or whatever die cutting machine you have. So stacked font has been trendy for quite some time. And so with this little bundle here, it comes with a ton of different um, formats, if you will. So it's really, really cool. Different ways, there's Retro, Champ, which is perfect for school, um, all sorts of fun stuff. So I'll kind of show you a few of those samples right here so you can see where it's wrote out here. So you guys know what I'm talking about when it comes to that stacked font. Usually we take our slice tool, we slice off, slice off half of that font, bring in your next one and all of those things. So we're gonna make it super duper easy for you once again, this is a bundle, and this is gonna be included in this month's dollar deal. So if you guys are currently watching this right before the dollar deal in July of 2022, then this is going to be included in the dollar deal. So make sure you guys definitely check this one out. If not, you can obviously still purchase this in the link down below. So once again, you can do t-shirts, you can do mugs, you can do um, decals like they did here. This one is so cute lots and lots of ideas. So now you guys are familiar with and seeing what I'm talking about when it comes to that stacked font. Once again, this is something that has been trendy for quite some time and there's been a lot of hacks and all of those kind of things. All right, so now that you see that font here, there's several different ones included. Let's go ahead and head on over to Cricut Design Space. All right, so now that we're over here in Cricut Design Space, there's actually a few more things that you need to do before you can use this font inside of Cricut Design Space. If you're new to downloading or uploading your own font, if you will, all you simply need to do is add it to your cart, completely check out, and then you're gonna download it to your computer. So you're gonna be able to open up your folder just like so. So let me go ahead and double click on this one here. So once you click on that folder, you're going to see all of those options. So if you click on them just like this, I'll bring it up. You can click on this last one here and it's gonna show you a preview of each one. So this is the champ one, like I showed you where it said cheer and stuff like that. So you can just kind of go through here and figure out what style, I called it format earlier, what style you guys are wanting to use. Once you do so, all you're simply going to do is go ahead and double click on it. You're gonna see it pop up just like this. And then you're gonna go ahead and click install font. Now it's installed on the computer. So to find your font, if you already have Cricut Design Space open, you actually need to either exit out of it and bring it back open, or you may not have known, but you can come right up here where it says view and simply click on where it says reload. So this is going to completely reload Cricut Design Space for you. If you're already working on a file, make sure you save it before you do so. All right, so now what we're ready to do is we are gonna go over here to text and then we're gonna come over here to where it says font and we're gonna to start to search out our font. So one thing that you can actually do to narrow it even further is you can go to your system font and this is only gonna bring up what's included on your system. All right, so what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to type out just like this, and it's gonna bring up those three fonts. So I've already downloaded three of those. Once again, that was a bundle and it came with quite a few different styles. So let's go ahead and click on this raspberry stacked one right here. So we're gonna click here, and then it's going to update that text box as you can see here. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually bring this out so you guys can see a little bit better. And then to start working with this, we're just going to double click, and then I'm gonna type out there we go, and then we're gonna do babe, just like that. 
So you could do something like this, and I'm actually gonna go ahead and scoot this over. Now, as you can see, this is one file. So if you're using one solid color, you are ready to go. You're ready to take this over, size it out to what you're needing. These are perfect for those um, beer can glasses that we do, the Libby glasses. Um, like I said, a coffee mug, t-shirt, you've seen it on a doormat, all sorts of fun stuff that you can do with this thing. So you can see right now it's actually one file and this guy is completely ready to go. You can just go ahead and make it and cut it out. And this is going to cut out in one color. So for example, if I wanted to cut it out in pink, I'll kind of show you that here. You can see it's all going to be the same. So you're gonna have it in bold in just the middle. And then on the outer edges, it's going to basically be that outline, all right? So if you're wanting to make these, say for example, I want this to be pink, black, pink, this is what you're gonna do. So we are actually gonna go ahead and weld it. So it's very important, you wanna go ahead and weld it. And so now when we click on it, you're gonna get the option for contour because before you weld it, you're not gonna have that contour option. So first step is weld it. Next step, we're gonna go ahead and duplicate it. We're gonna go ahead and do it just two times, right? So since we're doing pink, we're gonna do pink, black, pink. So we only need to duplicate it twice. If I was going to say, for example, I was doing red, yellow, blue, I have three different colors, I would wanna duplicate it three times, so on and so forth. So from here, what I'm actually gonna go ahead and do is I'm going to select all, I wanna select both of these here, and then we're gonna go to align, and we are gonna go to center. So this is gonna center both of those together, and now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're going to select one. So from here, I'm gonna go ahead and go to contour, all right? And this is gonna be our pink layer. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna get rid of the center boss bay, right? So that way these are gonna be the pink. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these pieces here. So we're gonna go ahead and just click on all these center pieces. I'm not grabbing those pieces because they, they belong to the top. All right, so we're just gonna quickly go through here selecting all of these, making sure we're selecting all of those pieces, and then we're gonna go ahead and just exit out of it, right? I'm actually gonna go back in one more time. I'm gonna go ahead and hit contour. So if you ever notice that something's still there, then you probably forgot something. So I need to actually go back in, select that, and select that again. All right, there we go. So now we've gotten rid of that. So if we go over here and we hide this one, you can see now that we've completely got rid of that center mark, right? So we're gonna keep that pink. And now what we're gonna do is we can actually hide this one so that way we don't see it. We can bring this one back in. And then we are gonna go ahead and go back into contour. And the easiest thing to do here because we have so many pieces to get rid of is go to hide all contours, right? Now, whenever you hit hide all contours, it's gonna keep one, it has to keep one. And you can usually see that. So see how the darker gray, those are all hidden except for this one here. So you can't unselect it until you select something else. So I'll go ahead and click here and I'll go ahead and select these two just to get started. And I'll go back and I'll unselect that one so we can eliminate it immediately. So now we can go ahead and just continue to select here. You can also do that by scrolling down here if you wanted to. So keep scrolling, there we have it. And that's actually not that piece. And then you can keep going. For me personally, I like to just go ahead and do it here. So I'm just going to select, 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 and select. There we have it, we're missing this one right here. There we go. So now you can see I've got this one and I'll go back over here. We're gonna change it to black. We'll unhide this, bring it back just so you can see. Now you can see you have the different colors. So it's absolutely amazing. Once again, you have so many different styles to choose from. The possibilities are endless with this one. Now I wanna show you one more thing really quickly. So let me go ahead and bring in another one of those. So let's go ahead and click on text. And then I'm going to bring, whoop, let's undo that really fast. So let's go ahead and go here and let's size this guy out once again so that way we can see what we're doing. We'll go ahead and bring it back down, there we go. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back up to font and I'm gonna search that again, right? There we go, we're gonna hit enter. And this time I'm gonna go ahead and choose that retro one. And so you can see how that styles change. So this time I'm gonna go ahead and double select here and I'm going to write out coffee just like so. So once again, look how cute that is. It's ready to go. We can throw this on a tumbler or our beer can glass or whatever we wanna do. 
All right, so from here, what we're gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna show you that, I'm gonna hide these two. Let's pretend that these aren't even here. So you have that one file once again. Now, an option you're gonna notice is up here at the top, it says ungroup. So if we ungroup these, you're gonna get all these different pieces. So it's not ungrouping it from the top, middle, bottom, and that's why we use that contour, but what it's doing it is by letter. So if you were wanting to come in here and change these, so say for example, let's go ahead and do this brown, and we'll come in here, and we will do a lighter shade of brown. So let me go ahead and do that. Let's see if we can get something. There we go, perfect. And so I'll do the same thing. So for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and select this brown and then back and forth. So say I was just alternating or if you were doing a whole rainbow effect, if I was writing up the name rainbow, I could do red, pink, yellow, purple, blue. So that's gonna allow you to do it this way all the way across. I'm gonna go ahead and do my last two just so we can see the finished product here. And then just like that, or maybe, oops, wrong one or maybe you want to have it fade so maybe I have the darker brown and then it's slowly going into the lighter um, as those colors go on so it's just a whole nother option that you can do is is if you do hit the ungroup you are gonna have the option to go from letter to letter um, so once again if I wanted to come in here and I could do let me go ahead and just type out let's do, let's do one more of these just to show you an example and we're gonna go ahead and go back over here to text and then we are gonna go ahead and go back up to search And this time we're gonna go ahead and choose the beach one just so I can show you one more. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring this out here. And so this time I'm gonna double select here and we are going to type out rainbow. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what I was talking about a second ago. We're gonna go ahead and hit that ungroup and then we're gonna go ahead and go all the way across here. So let's do a pink. Let's do purple. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and speed this up. All right, so there you have it. Now this is obviously in no particular order or anything of this from the rainbow colors, but just to show you, I mean, you can do something just like this, or once again, if I wanted to separate it and I wanted to do the top, yellow, blue, pink, or whatever, lots and lots of different options. So this was the beach one here, and then um, you have, I think I'd have to do it individual so we won't really mess with that, but the Boss Babe, you've seen that there as well. So once again, lots and lots of different options. There are several of the different styles to choose from, and this is included once again, if you guys are watching this before our dollar event, this is included in the dollar event. So make sure you guys tune in on Wednesday to snag that. You only have one hour if you guys are not a Plus member, and if you're a Plus member, you actually have a whole 24 hours. And once again, if you're watching this one, two years down the road, um, you can still purchase this. It is linked down below. And then keep in mind, you can still use this on your silhouette um, and any other die cutting machine that you may have. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one.